Say hello to the 51st state of America, Norway. We're just gonna pick it up and attach it to California here. Don't worry though, we'll take your little islands as well, put it up next to Alaska. And actually, now that I think about it, California and Sweden do kind of have a lot in common. And I'm sure Norway's only gonna contribute to all the Cali hate that all the other states have. Wait a second, why is Iraq in Virginia? The average number of popes per square kilometer. In the red, we have the countries with no popes per square kilometer. And in the green, we have at least two. The problem is this map is still missing a whole lot of information. We still don't know exactly how many popes are out here in the ocean per square kilometer. Or for that matter, Moldova. Now I want to see a world map version of this. So some geography nerds like myself recently tried to name a bunch of cities and then others would try to figure out what country they were in based off the cities they knew. So it's a pretty fun game. Obviously you can kind of try to figure it out. But this one was the biggest mystery. I think to this day people are still unsure exactly. I mean he really knows a lot in France and Germany, a little bit in Switzerland, a lot in Serbia and Romania. Romania too. I don't know. Does anyone have any guesses? Ah, uh, yes. The weekly reminder of terminology from the United Kingdom, how to separate it from Ireland and the British Isles. So in the purple, we have England. Within England itself, we have Scotland, Britain, and Great Britain. Then in Ireland, we have Wales, and then Southern Ireland. Sometimes Wales is often called Best Wales too. But as a whole, this is just the United Kingdom. That's the best way to say it. Wait a second though. This is the only flaw. This is not London. That's Detroit. The funny thing about this is I guarantee this is going to send someone into a downward spiral of confusion for somebody out there. The real size of Turkey, if it was in Europe. So easy to forget how massive this country is. It actually spreads from Detroit to Moldova. Flat map projections are just so bad, isn't it, guys? Turkey looks like it would be really small, but in fact, it is actually very large. I'm glad we all know now that Turkey is larger than Turkey. A world map if Hillary Clinton won the 2016 election. In the blue, we have the countries that would be ruled by Hillary Clinton. In the red, we have the countries not ruled by Hillary Clinton. And in the gray, we have no data. I am not sure if Antarctica will be ruled by Hillary Clinton. Well, I mean, I think at least a part of it technically would. And wait a second, Donald Trump wanted to purchase Greenland. Maybe that's why we're actually unsure here. Maybe she would actually get the deal done. I think this map might be actually showing us what this alternative dimension looked like. I have no idea how she got hold of Switzerland and Luxembourg though. Oh yeah, and in the green, if you weren't sure, that's Brazil. A sad satellite map if we all put Florida where it belongs. Thousands of years ago, this state has fallen all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico, but we all know this is actually the missing puzzle piece that Canada has always wanted. Canada just isn't crazy enough. I think that country could use some more Florida men. Now, I've heard about continental drift theory, where the continents actually shifted spots on the globe, but Florida might have made the greatest journey of them all. Am I the only one confused? How did Russia colonize Alaska if it's all the way over here? I remember being taught about this in the sixth grade. Those Russian explorers were really brave. They had to go all the way down through the corner of the map, shift around New Zealand, and then head all the way out west. Careful to dodge Argentina and Chile. Then move all the way north, and they grabbed up this spot. It really just shows how amazing that whole feat was. And no wonder they weren't able to keep it, and they just sold it to the U.S. It's just so far away. Like, how could they have managed it? More than half the people on Earth live inside this red circle. Here's a clearer way to see with the oceans labeled. I just want to say that this is one of those posts that is half stupid, half genius. I think technically he is right. There would be a red circle. We just can't see it on this projection. Oh, you think you're a geography expert? Tell me what's wrong with this map then. Only a true master would be able to figure this one out. I figured it out instantly and that's that this map doesn't include America, or Australia, or a lot of Africa. Not even the full European continent. It's so obvious. Random, but does anyone else want to visit the country roads of Afghanistan soon with me? Afghanistan, the mountain mama of Asia. I think John Denver would love this place. Someone has recently found the greatest city name of all time. Um, the fuck? That's my reaction, at least, when I read Am de Fouk. Yeah, this is actually the greatest city name of all time. Why has the Central African Republic been hiding this place? Oh, I mean Sudan been hiding this place for so long. Wait, I think I actually got it right. Am de Fouk is over in the Central African Republic, or Car. It's in Car. And, um, whatever this is, that's in 
sedan. Love that this is the first image that they show on Google for this place. This doesn't look that bad. What do Europeans joke about most? In Germany, it's Poland. In Poland, it's Germany. In Ireland, it's the UK and vice versa. Everyone jokes about Sweden in the Nordic lands, Russia and Ukraine continuing their rivalry. And then there's Italy, who's clearly down bad. They out here just poking fun at themselves. But somebody has to do it. I mean, nobody else is. That's why I like to joke around with Italy the most, because they don't get enough love out there. Guess the country. Round one. Go. Hmm. This is a tough one. I'm gonna say it's a British prison colony? Either that or Austria. There's been a lot of proposed plans to build new land out at sea, but this one might be the greatest. Someone's decided they wanted to build a land bridge from Western Sahara to Brazil. And this honestly seems like the perfect way to do it. It's like perfect length and everything. I love the little curve you gave it down here just to make it more exciting. Anyone else hungry for some chili? Map of the places I think are cool. If you live in one of these circles, you are based. This guy must be very picky because it seems like all all of these circles don't have very many people living in it. I can tell you right now there's 13 people that live in this red Siberia. Maybe like 50 in this one. This one's for sure uninhabited. And Wyoming doesn't exist, so the bottom part of this circle barely even makes sense. I would love to know if there was somebody from one of these circles that actually watches my videos. This map shows every country I've been to. In the green we have Brazil. Everywhere else is not Brazil. And then if you're unsure, we have water. I can't tell if he's actually been to the water or not. It doesn't seem to be the same shade as the oceans. Our some of these places that are not perfectly gray still up for debate like he got a concussion halfway through his world trip and he can't remember if he went to these places or not visited a lot of awesome spots though i will say that looks like a lot of coastlines as well glad to see this brazilians traveling the world is that greenland in orange no in whatever color this is no but that's iceland and as always gray is no data will we ever figure out what this place is ah uh, yes a relief map of germany gotta admit i love relief maps the problem is that they oftentimes don't help me feel that much more relieved. They're just like, I don't know, okay. But this one, finally, this one takes the cake. <sighs> More people live in the red area than live in the blue. And you can really just tell how Chad these people are. The ultimate Chads of the world. For some reason, this map makes me think there's a lot of virgins in South America. Will they ever compete with this alpha over here in this other continent? Love that map memes can literally become art at this point. I drew the United States from memory. This is actually incredible because the United States is not an easy place to memorize. Just look at how little straight lines there are. That's been my biggest complaint about states geography. Like why aren't there just straight lines everywhere? Why isn't there just like a giant region that's just a square? Why aren't there panhandles? And just why are there so many curves? The United States, if we actually took this Manifest Destiny stuff seriously. How soft were we just extending and getting Washington, Oregon, and California? If we were more on our Sigma grind set, we would have colonized the entirety of Canada, gotten pretty much all of the Caribbean, as well as Greenland and Iceland. We a bunch of weak beta males over here. The coldest non-negative temperatures ever measured not in Kelvin. So as you can see, these places get really cold. They hit zero degrees when not including any negative integers. Clearly, it's not really getting that freezing out here. Checkmate, climate people. Finally, an accurate map showing the situation in Syria. We have the rebels, the loyalists, and the Kurds. But of course, each one of these divisions have smaller subdivisions. Then we have foreign forces, union parties, countryside people, and about a thousand different rebel groups all going at it. Thank you so much for this map. I know everything now. The whole Florida thing is becoming a pretty serious discussion. I think what we've all settled on is that aliens stole Florida from the James Bay. They just decided we were gonna take this random cutout of a peninsula and push it somewhere else. Also just put a bunch of crackheads in this state too. I don't know why they did that. Finally, let's settle this. Pasta should be eaten with mayonnaise or ketchup. Of course, the red countries think ketchup is much better for pasta, but in the blue, those icy countries really like mayonnaise. In a lot of Europe in black, they think it's best to mix the two, ketchup and mayonnaise while you slurp up this spaghetti. <laughs> and for some reason, Africa's still kind of divided. Parts of Africa are on the ketchup team, and then parts are on the both team. Look how crazy this pattern is. Like, not everyone in the country thinks it's best to eat both. It's kind of like it's saying something. Man, population density is so weird. My proposal to divide up the United Kingdom. So we're gonna give the northernmost tip of Scotland to Denmark, as well as a couple islands. We're gonna split this island specifically, though. Gotta give Norway a little bit of the action. We're gonna give Wales, Northern Ireland, a lot of Scotland, and Northern England to Ireland, just to make up for, like, you know, 
the past. I think it's about time. Gotta give the Dutch some coastline just so they can fight back the seas. And since France is an ally, you know, they should get a lot of England. I've never seen a better way to divide them up than this. Map of the USA, but I've removed every last letter. Yes, loving the state of Florida and Texas. Arizona is pretty cool, along with Nevada and Ute. Or is that Utah? Ida! That sounds better. How does just one letter at the end of all these state names add a whole ass syllable? Oh, hi. Much easier to say than Ohio or New York. Who even needs the E in Maine? It's still pronounced the same exact way. Washito or Go. Nebraska. South Dakota and Kansas. Miss Sour. Kentucky and Virginia. <laughs> This really makes me realize how many states end with A. Similar territories in their shape. We have Colorado being very similar to Wyoming. Who would have thought? It's almost like they're just two giant squares or rectangles, whatever you want to call it. There was already an amazing post showing off all of these cool places that looked similar, but I just can't believe they left off the obvious. The 1984 election compared to states named Minnesota. I feel like the universe is trying to tell us something. What exactly is going on in this so-called Minnesota? It's literally 1984. Places where the sun moved on the sky in a zigzag pattern on October 13th, 1917. In the red, we have no. These countries did not witness the sun move in a zigzag pattern in 1917. And in the gray, we don't really know. Oh, that's just Portugal. Well, Portugal, it'd be nice if you finally figured this out. What's going on with this whole miracle of the sun thing? Oh, here's another one. Guess where this person lives based off the cities he can name. Hmm, he can't name any cities. Yeah, he definitely must live on... Mars. What the Bay of Biscay was made for. It's possible if the aliens randomly moved Florida to the US territory, then maybe they moved Turkey as well. And you know what? Back in these days, maybe Turkey was much bigger in Europe. That's why it appears to be more small in projections. I don't know. We gotta ask those little green guys. Finally, the 52nd state now. As soon as we move Norway and connect it to California, we're then gonna attach the entire country of Italy to Georgia and South Carolina. Anyone else notice how similar West Virginia looks to Afghanistan? Would you feel comfortable if your child was in a relationship with a French person? Seems like most of these countries are in the strong no position. Only 10 to 19% would be like, yeah. But for some reason in France, they're very much okay with their child being in a relationship with a French person. Over 90 to 100%? No, there's gotta be at least some outliers here. I don't think this data is actually accurate. The United States of America split in four ways. This one is also, this is also including Alaska and Hawaii. Hawaii. So here it is split in four ways. It's split between red, blue, gold, and green. Great job. I wasn't actually expecting this. Thank you for also including our favorite color gold. Places where I've witnessed a violent car crash at 51 degrees, negative point, okay, whatever. I think some authorities need to be notified in Cornwall. Finally, a map showing countries in their native language. I, of course, am speaking English to you right now, and I always say the English version of countries around the world. However, I've never really gone out and did my own research to figure out the problem proper native pronunciation. Like I know that this place is India, but who knows how I'm supposed to properly say it? What a strange alphabet they have here. Same with actually all these countries around the world. I've never seen any sort of letters like this in my whole life. Is this what Australians look like when they look at maps right side up? The true size of France if it was actually in Europe. What's weird about this is so many countries look like they fit perfectly, I guess because of the continental drift theory. Except for France. I don't feel like France looks right. It just doesn't, like you could clearly you see it's not supposed to be here? That's one thing that's definitely safe to say. It really just doesn't even take that much of the continent up. It's just kind of blah. Thank God this isn't real. What if it was all a dream? Tomorrow morning we wake up and Indiana, West Virginia, and Michigan look like this. Even KFC land's gonna get a little bit of it. Believe it or not, this was the old dictator in Libya, Gaddafi's plan to divide up Ohio. I think Ohio has had enough of the spotlight with it's all Ohio. Pretty sure that was just some sort of mass psychosis. A map of Africa, if we divided it up like Australia, we have Tasma, Africa. Probably a lot of crazy daredevils down there. The African Capital Territory, as well as Vic Africa, New South Africa, South Africa, Territory of Northern Africa, Queensland, Africa, and Western Africa. Man, those Australians really just had a way with words. The way they just like perfectly nailed what these places should be called. So creative so thoughtful. That's why we should spread this idea to Africa as well. A map of the UK highlighting the place where I buried a chest containing 5 million pounds at this degree. Do not go there and take it. It would cause a sudden and suspicious inflation in British economics. You heard it, man. This would completely destroy their country. Do not go unbury this chest. And big thanks to I Stole Drew's Pet Dog. I Love Mark. Drew's Arab Sugar Daddy. Luxembourg Lover. King Corey. Drew's Argentinian Grandpa. Canadian Union. Dalton D. Bring Back Poland Barnsky W. Aryan After Hours. A fat 
Matt Norwell, Alfonso M. Six, Ivan Lima, Majestic Crom Unicorn, Bopulous, Michael, Max Cooper, Nick Blorf, Mind Brothers 999, Robert, Philip e. R. F. And Ride the Pie. 